Hey guys, Westy here. How are you going? Hey, listen, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to set up a helicopter on a Spectrum transmitter. Um, this is a DX7 SE Special Edition. Uh, the, the transfer of information will be very, very, very similar between all Spectrum radios. Uh, I'm not going to go into binding, I'm just going to go into the basic and advanced setup of the helicopter with this here, including setting up your model and also I'm going to go through and explain how to set up your swash, set up your pitch curves and then throttle curves and things like that. So we're going to do it in four stages. First stage will be to set up your a fresh config. Um, second stage will be setting up your pitch and throttle curves. Third stage will be setting up your swash leveling and CCPM leveling. And the fourth stage will be setting up um, your dual rates and expos for beginners to intermediate. Advanced guys, you, you guys know all this stuff. So, um, yeah, just had a few guys contact me in regards to, set, to to this so I just wanted to give you a pretty easy ABC how to uh, how to do it so um, thanks for tuning in guys and let's get right in amongst it welcome back Westy here okay um, right so what we're going to do here with the we got the DX7 uh, SE what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on and we're going to hold down the select and the uh, access button so this one here and this one here I'll just scroll in a little bit so you can see it and we're going to turn it on okay so hold this one down and this one here at the same time so this is the model select mode so you turn it on and you can see that's um, set up oh, I'm going to change it with this button over here you can scroll through the different models so I'm just going to go to like model 20 Actually, I'll find one that it's not set up as a heli, so, you, so we have to change it. Okay, there's an acro one right there, okay? So what we need to do now is do the down arrow button on, on this, this side here. And I don't know what in, in, in divid means. Oh, okay. Um, what we need to do... is change it to heli with the up or down arrow and hold the clear button to to select okay so now that's in heli mode so we have a whole lot of different options now so now we hit the scroll down button and we've got the heli we can name it in here so to name it you just put in the your details once you've got in your name you can change it to you, you can move the down arrow again so down here okay so let's go through the swash type uh, we want to set up because we're just going to use a, a normal fly bar helicopter even if you're using um, 3GX you would not use a um, 3 servo 120 degree setup Okay, and scroll down to the next option. Um, I ha I leave these as default, uh, except for I change my gear to gyro. Okay, so if I've come to the other one for different options here, um, we've got Ox2, we've got different modes there for that. I have mine as just Ox2 to Ox2. Uh, if you want to learn a bit more about that, you're going to have to read the manual, because I don't honestly know. <laughs> okay, okay. so um, throttle recovery, leave that inactive. That's, um, I, I believe, for nitros. And you leave that, that don't touch anything on this screen, because if you press reset, you'll be setting it from to, to scratch again. Okay, so now that you've got that, you've gone through that set of menus, and you're in heli mode, you can turn it off. Make sure your switches are down and forwards. 
and then turn it on again and okay we're straight into this mode here now with these uh, DX7s we can actually hold down the select button and press the up and that will take you into all the main functions so that and you can use the, the, the down to go down through all of those and once you select the one you want you press the down and the select at the same time and it will take you into that menu DX8 and DX6 are a bit different you go through the side the, the little toggle on the side and you uh, go through that that method but basically all the options will be in here the same as the same as there they may be called a little bit different and have different sub menus but all of the everything that you need to change is definitely in in the in the transmitter so you'll just have to find it okay so without further ado, since I'm in the master list, um, we're going to start off with the easy stuff first and we'll move on to the harder stuff and then on to the easy stuff again. Okay, so um, what we want to do is we'll set up throttle hold first. So we go hold, hold down the select and that takes it in and we want to make that active. It's set up on my DR switch, which is the one over the back here. It's the whole rudder DR switch. Okay, it's got rudder DR there. Okay, so that's fine. So um, we can go back into the main menu again. If you want to change that switch, you can actually press the select button so the arrow highlights it, and then you can go through whatever you want to set up on that, which switch you want to assign. But I'd like to leave my throttle hold on the right hand side like that, and my um, idle up, idle, idle one and two on my left. Okay, so now we want to get back into the main menu again. Oops. Um, and now we're going to, we're, what we're going to do is move, move on to the, the curves. So we're going to go through the three throttle curves and the pitch curve. So now we've set up the, the throttle hold and we've enabled it. Because you have to do that first. Enable the, if you have it inactive, you will not have a menu that you can get into for um, pitch curve and throttle curve for. Um, for uh, throttle hold. Okay, so we're going to go down into the next option and go into the throttle curve normal, which is your normal pitch uh, normal, normal throttle curve. So I'm going to set that up uh, right now. So I hold down the select and the down scroll, and we've got zero. And I'm going to my first uh, option. I, I go to uh, 55. On, on my particular helicopter because it actually uh, it actually quite likes that setup. Okay, now option two, we go to um, I, I go to uh, about seventy five. Three is on um, ninety. And fours the the H positions on a hundred. Okay, so that gives me basically when you set up your ESC, you set it up on super soft startup, so that when you do move your pitch, uh, slowly move your um, pitch and collector control up, it will slowly ramp up. And once you get into about halfway, we're starting to get to where we've got good RPM for takeoff and control. That's why I set it up that way. Now you may have a little bit of difference in the in the first and the not the not the low but the first and second points, depending on what type of motor you've got and the and the power it's got. Um, okay, so that's the first throttle curve. So we're going to move down to um, stunt one um, throttle curve, and I set mine for um, low point. I set mine to 80. And move right across to the middle one because the, the point one and three, if you go L123H, point one and three on, on there um, automatically follow the curve. If you just go to the middle one, it'll speed up the process. So I'm going to go to straight up to 80 here. And then point H, I'm going to bring back down to 80. Now just a point and something to note if you're a beginner, uh, you will 
certainly not want to go into idle up mode so what you would do is you would set your throttle curves for all three normal stunt one stunt two for the same that I've got here so and your pitch curves would match as well so when you if you do mistakenly flick the magic switch it's not going to actually change anything and you're not going to actually fly the helicopter into the ground at a thousand miles an hour and basically end up putting the lot in the garbage okay so, and then blaming me for not telling you <laughs> all right so if you're beginners and you haven't done any flying before my tr one thing i definitely would like you to do is set up your throttle curve in normal mode um stunt one and stunt two exactly the same as your normal mode so duplicate that three times and then with your pitch curves um, I would set it up so with your normal one set up your pitch curve like so um, it's going to be a little bit different for depending on the uh, how when you set up your pitch curve and setting up your pitch on your with your gauge your percentage on the, on the lowest point will be a little bit different to mine because it depends on when you basically set it up so that you're getting minus two degrees of um, blade pitch. So we're going to, I, 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 mine's at 41 and a half. And then, then the second option, because I haven't changed anything, that, that will be an active and it'll automatically fault between there and 50%. If you have messed with that middle setting, you're going to have to basically get the, the calculator out and work out the difference between whatever your bottom number is, which mine is 41.5, and 50, which is your middle point, so your mid stick point there. Okay, so um, so you know that's going to be something like um, 46. Um, something like that 46 okay so and then leave three should be leave it inactive and H should be a hundred if, if you have messed with the third position you will need to set that at 75 so it should be 50 in the middle so at mid stick basically what that's simulating is that mid stick you're going to be pulling zero pitch and at, at uh, high, the high position you're going to be pulling maximum pitch on your blades Okay, so when your stick's at a full position, you're going to develop full full pitch. Mid stick will be uh, zero pitch. So full pitch for high, so maximum lift. And then when you actually go right down, because we've set this pitch up for normal flight, it will only pull um, minus two degrees. And you need to do that with your pitch gauge, which I'm sure you possibly know. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into um, so uh, hang on what have we got what's happened here okay let's go all the way back okay so throttle hold okay so pitch curve Offset might so for intermediate guys. This is what you want to be doing here um, Set up your for intermediate guys your throttle curve should be 80 80 80 80 all the way along um, As I said if you do points L 2 and H uh, And leave 1 and 3 you'll automatically get a straight line if you have messed with 1 and 3 You need to set them all individually, but it speeds up the setup process Okay stunt 2 You set them for 100, 100, 100 for the throttle curve. Um, the reason I set both my idle up 1 and idle up 2 for the a flat line is because I did try an experiment with ha having like a V pattern like that where it goes 190.